Oh yeah, Skyrim is back. My name is Major Slack and Skyrim is back. Yeah, I'll get to more on that uh, on the run to Riverwood. Let's get right to why most of you are here. How to get Dwarven Armor, a complete set of Dwarven Armor at level 1. And uh, this is not a bait and switch video. I am actually going to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I walk the walk. I don't just talk the talk. I walk the walk. We are now right outside Helgen Keep and I am now at level 1. I took great care not to level up during my run through hell can keep it playing as a nord okay his name is major slack there is hell can keep it just exited and um yep and we're doing this on legendary all right how to get a complete set of dwarven armor right at the beginning of the game um at level one we're going to be at level one we are at level one right now and we're going to be at level one when we get the dwarven armor there we go legendary difficulty let's get right to it and let's take off the armor so that we can run faster and further and put on our street gear here our civvies and that's it let's get to it for this run you need 20 bucks preferably if you, you know you have some stuff to sell some stuff that you collected while during your run through um helgen keep you collect a lot of stuff to sell right but all you really need is 20 bucks, you know, okay? You should go to and and yeah, like I said, my name is Major Slack, totally incurable Skyrim nerd. I've easily got over 2,000 hours invested in this game. I've done three complete walkthroughs over the years, one on Adept, one on Master Difficulty, and one on Legendary Difficulty, which is my most popular walkthrough. That one is right here on Major Slack Attack. Check out my playlist. I'll also put a link in the video description. Uh, that walkthrough will show you how to build a tank destruction mage, okay? A tank destruction mage, a build I call the quick and dirty dark elf build, all right? I also wrote an accompanying ebook, and I'll let the intro video to that walkthrough do the rest of the talking about that, okay? Check it out. The quick and dirty dark elf build. Link in the video description. We are here to celebrate the return of Skyrim. That's right, Skyrim was remastered and re-released just a couple of days ago, and as a Skyrim nerd, it was my sacred duty to purchase and download the remastered version. You're watching it right now. New graphics and whatnot, varying opinions on how successful that was, but I'm not a graphic sound, so I don't really care that much. It looks snazzier to me, but hey, I have no complaints. Whatever, who cares? It's just a cheap excuse to return to my favorite video game of all time. Um, yeah, that is Skyrim. Yeah, Skyrim is back. Okay, coming into Riverwood here. If you go straight here, you gotta run into Sven. Did I see you right away? Let's talk to Sven and say you and Fandel both like the same girl. Camilla Valerius knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. I've seen him sneaking over to the Riverwood trader to speak with her when I'm not around. He's wasting his time. He sounds persistent. You may be right. Camilla may see Feindel as little more than a friend, but why take chances? Here, give Camilla this letter. It's full of venomous nonsense. Tell her it's from Feindel. Ooh, a caper. All right. What? This is about, uh, like I said, this is about making Feindel our follower. We definitely need him, okay? Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. Maybe use Camilla. No. Don't do the lie. Do this one here. Sven wants it to trick you. What are you talking about? Yeah. What's in the letter? Just oh read my. it. Thank you for telling me the truth. Should we go talk Will to Feindel? Talk to Feindel as well. Okay. I'm sure he'll want to thank you for standing up for him. Very good. All right then. Okay, and make sure you talk to Lucan. See if he's got no, any stamina potions. Very that. important for this run. Uh, probably want to sell him some stuff. Like all this imperial like gear. There we go, that'll give us some coin. Up to potions. How many stamina potions does he have? Just two. Alright, we're gonna have to make two. With just two. He's a boat and you don't know. Okay, we can make another one. First, let's talk to Feindel. Let's look up our quest, unhook that. Go to miscellaneous, talk to Feindel. This will show us exactly where he is. He's right over there. Feindel, my man. River was agreeable enough, I, I don't suppose. think Camilla will be spending any more time. Yada, yada, yada. I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. It gives you a little bit of chump change, and now he, he can't become your follower. Lead the way. So he's now our follower. 
Let's get you ready for battle. Still here. You're gonna be on the front lines. What do you want me to carry? Well, we're gonna give you some good armor to start with. For example, this imperial armor, imperial boots, imperial braces, and you've been promoted to officer. How about that? <laughs> and let's give you a good weapon. How about the imperial sword? And uh, that's that. From you, we want all these arrows. Uh, keep the hunting bolt. Take that. Take the key to your house for sure. And you are equipped. Let's give you one arrow. One steel arrow. And we are ready to rock. Let's go make a potion. A stamina potion. This is going to be a tough run because we've only got three stamina potions. In your run through Helgen Keep, you most likely got some bear claws. You mix the bear claw with a purple mountain flower, which we just picked up to make some restore stamina. So that gives us three stamina potions. That is not quite enough to get it. Okay, we have to make do with what we got, like I said. Okay. We got four all together. Let's hotkey them. Yep. Work. What else do I want to hotkey? The bow. Bad. Okay, the bow is number four. Stamina potions is number two. And let's put flames at number six. We're ready to rock. I let's save the game. The game is still prone to this strange crash to desktop problem that the original Skyrim had occasionally. So I'm just going to save the game here. Just I just sure ruined a run. And let's get to it. Next stop, White Run Stables. We're going straight there. Let's put a marker there. White Run. Yes. Back to quest. Let's unhook any quest. And away we go. You with us, Fandale? Atta boy. Okay, we're coming up on a wolf. Let's get on some battle gear. Right, let's cook up Fido. Here, boy. Here, boy. Who's a good hot dog? <laughs> Uh, let's put on our running gear back on again. And straight to White Run Stables. Yeah, Skyrim, uh, my favorite video game of all, of all time. I've done, I believe, the exact count is a whopping 478 videos of Skyrim during my tenure <laughs> as Major Slack. Yeah, a whopping 478 videos. I believe that's more than follow for. And the general consensus is, amongst my viewers, keep them coming, Slack, keep them coming. Yeah, this has been the most requested game all summer long, ever since they announced that they were gonna do a remastered version. People have been asking, you're gonna do some more Skyrim videos when they do the remastered? Slack, you're gonna do some more Skyrim videos when they do the Skyrim Special Edition? Yes, well, yep, yeah, yeah, here we go. It's here. Skyrim is back. Make sure you run right past this guy. Get the stables discovered. Let's wait an hour to get Fiendel to catch up. Here he is. I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Where well, my good go? man, we would like to go to Markarth. Climbing back and we'll be off. Ever been to Markarth? Some say it was built by the dwarves. I don't believe a word of it, though. 
Okay, here we are, and let me just hook up uh, any kind of slashing weapon here in Iron Jag will do. I know there's tons of stuff we could be doing here and on the way, but this is all about the Dwarven armor. One thing I do want to take care of is this murderer here. Give him a whack. The guards go after Waylon. Do him in. And then Margaret will give us a reward in the form of a silver emerald necklace. Just to make a little bit of extra coin here. Hang that, hang tough there, Fandel. Just waiting for this guy to go down. Down he goes. Loot him. Margaret is the woman in the blue dress. She ran away. She could be coming back any soon, any time. Here she is, right there. By the gods, that man nearly killed me. You saved my life. How about re how about a reward? Thank you. Here, I was gonna bring this to my sister, but I think you should have it. Thank you. Silver emerald necklace. That's it. God. And then you usually get it caused by L trees. Right we can right? just like you see what happened? Can you leave us alone? Then we have to talk to you, eh? You don't have to say. Oh, I think we'll you just fast track this. this. Kind of Tau -ta. We'll check. We'll catch you on the flip side. All right. Now I'm just gonna go straight up the Understone Keep. All the way up to the top here and into Understone Keep. And our good man Faintail is still with us. Let's go, brother. You hiding, in here, hang a left here. And go into Kalsamo's lab. There he is. Kalsamo, Kalsamo, let's talk to him. The excavation site is closed. Ask him about the excavation site. The ruins underneath Markov? The wealth of artifacts that I've based two human lifetimes of research on? You idiot! Do you even know who I am? The most recognized scholar on the Dwemer in all of Tamriel. And you people keep bothering me. I... I'm sorry, I... I got too excited. I'm in the middle of some very stressful work. And I, yeah, I should Okay. Have we would like How to see the you? excavation site. Persistent, aren't you? Oh, very well. Who am How about I the key? stand in the way of curiosity? I'll let you in if you agree to something for me. There's a giant spider in the Chuanzel. My workers call her Nimhi, the poisoned one. If you deal with Nimhi, I'll let you into both the excavation site and my Dwemer Museum. What do you say? That spider is as good as dead. Enthusiasm. Good. Here's the key to the dig site. What? Oh, goodbye. Okay, I wonder if he has any potions of stamina. I have things to. I don't think so. I, I think it just has scrolls. Yeah, okay. Yes, okay, yes, that's that. So now we have the key to this place here. And this is exactly where we want to go. Alright, Fiendale, time to earn your danger pay. It's fisty cuffs at close range. Get ready to rock and roll. Saddle up, lock and load. Ready? Let's do this thing. Okay, down to the end here. Okay, now you want to save frequently, alright? Do quick saves frequently because we're entering into some very dangerous territory. This is way above our pay grade, but I'll show you exactly how to do this. Faintail on him. You on it, Faintail? Okay, very good. Sometimes this brings other spiders out. This ends now. It, and indeed, it, it has. This is a lot easier to do as, an, as a Breton, by the way. Because with a Breton, you have the Conjure Familiar spell, which adds to, uh, you know, your firepower. But for a specific reason, we're playing as a Nord. I'll show you at the, why at the, end the, at the end of the run here. Okay, so we got a couple more spiders here. Let's just go bait them. 
Get them on Feindale. No, get in the war there, Feindale. Didn't think I hear they go. Right there. Go get him. Atta boy. Okay, there's a big one. Oh my gosh. See if we can give Feindale some help here. He made cave, so get ready to run for it, eh? How you holding up there, Bane Oh, he's almost down. Okay, we gotta get this guy in. Okay, one more to do it. There we go. Okay, and I believe there's a couple more little spiders back here because I didn't see them coming to the coming to the mix here. No, we're good. Okay. Excellent. <clears throat> Hook up sparks. Doing this guy here. Now, in here, you definitely want to do a quick save now because this is tough. Big gigantic spider called Nime. That's the one that Kalselma wants you to kill. He's got like a bazillion hit points. It will take you about 10 minutes to take him down at level 1. We're just going to run right by him. Alright, so here we go. Let's do it. Run right by him. He's up top. Come in here. Get this note here. You have to get this note. Do this in. And go into new that place there. New one Zell. Okay, did Feindale make it? Let's just hunker down. Now this place is full of let me just put on the map here and tell you. This place is full of super high level Falmers. You you shouldn't be going in here until you're like around, I don't know, level nine or ten. I forget exactly what the it's rated as, but it's way above your pay grade. Even with dwarven armor on, these guys will one shot you with their bow. Okay, these Felmers, okay? So basically if we're gonna speed run in to grab the dwarven armor, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this, okay? Okay, so first of all up we go, let's put on our running gear so we can run a lot faster and further. There we go. Do a quick save. Let's wait to our stamina bars. We can wait. Maybe let's get Feindale in the war. No, okay, he's still back there with the spider. That's okay, we don't really need him. He may join us later. Okay, let's go for it. Down here. Hang a left. Go straight down here. Run right by the Felmer. Go all the way down to the end. Drop off on the right here into the water. And go into this door here. It's the door on the left, okay? There's two doors into the Nuanzel armory. Alright, Feindel could join us. It's the door on the left. Let me just show you the map here. The other one doesn't show. There's another door up there, okay? If you go in that door, you're gonna face a whole bunch of Falmers as you work your way into the armor to the the place for the the dwarven armories. If you go into this door here, okay? The southern door, the door on the left, you don't have to face any Falmers at all. All you have to do is pick two locks, one Adept and one Expert. Okay, doing my nine point check. Lock picking strategies. We go. That's the adept. And here's the expert. I should save the game here. At this level, with so few lockpicks, you definitely want to. My lock picking strategy, I do a nine point check, okay? Check out nine different points around the lock pick, okay? One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And one of them is bound to get, get you some gift. As soon as you find where out there is there's some gift, just poke around that area there and you'll pick the lock. That's my lock picking strategy. There we go, we're in, and this is where the dwarven armor is. Dwarven gauntlets, dwarven helmet, dwarven boots, dwarven shield on the ground, and dwarven armor. Right here, let's pick all this stuff up. Oh yeah. And you got yourself some dwarven armor. At level one. Now, <laughs> how the fuck do I get out of here, Slacky? I know, I know. I'm gonna get you out. I, I'm gonna get you out. Yeah, because he kind of stuck in here. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get you out though. This is the hardest part, actually, getting out. Okay, so we want to get on our running gear again. This guy and this guy definitely want to do a quick save. Make sure your stamina potions are hot keyed and ready to rock. And that's pretty much it. It's just basically running at the right moment and running at the right spot. Whatever you do, don't loot this chest here. If you loot this chest, all these bad boys are going to come alive. Alright? So if you want a world of pain, loot this chest. You can't loot this guy though. And you can read this up if you so desire. That's the story. And he has some um, fairly valuable robes. Grab that. And you can loot this. <laughs> Sorry, you're not our type. <laughs> yeah, his shield is actually better than the uh, the dwarven shield that you pick up. All right. I believe our dwarven shield is only 28. Yeah, 28. Whereas this is 30. They might want that. Let's grab that. I'm carrying too much. Let's give some to Fiendel. I've got your back. What do you want me to carry? You lead, I'll follow. Okay. And that's it. We're ready to rock. Okay, now what I like to do here is try to sneak up to the door as much as possible to save on stamina potions. Okay. These Falmer, they're blind. So if they're not in the vicinity, um, you, can, you can sneak rather well. So here I managed to get right up to the door, out the door, and then we have to take this circular path up on the right there. So sneak into the water and kind of like jump up here. And I'm quick saving like crazy because this is a tough run. I, I highly recommend it to just just quick save your ass off, and um, yeah, you may blow it a couple times. And try to sneak as far up this first ramp here. There's the there's the Thelma right there, and now it's game on. It's pop up and run, and get ready to gobble down your stamina potions as you're making this run. Okay, try to stick to the right side as you run down because. That'll keep the archer behind you off your back and run behind this guy here. That's the first hard part. The second hard part is getting past Nimi again. Or Nimi. Aim right for the door. And we made it. Phew. <laughs> Sometimes the Falmer follows you in, eh? So keep going. Whether Feindel made it back or not, yeah, we see some uh, red dots on the scope there. Let's just keep going. Let's just get down there by the guards just in case. No Falmer followed us. Okay, so Fiendel got stuck in there. Um, one thing I would recommend actually is dismissing Fiendel while you're in the armory. That way if he gets uh, 
completely stuck, you can take on another follower, which occasionally happens. A follower will get stuck with some enemies and he just gets in this endless loop. Anyway, so that's it. That's how to get a complete set of Dwarven armor at level 1. All the way. No bull. Started at level 1, finished at level 1. Alright, so that is an armor rating of 85 without the shield and 113 with the shield. You can make this better right away. Right away. Yeah, you can about start buffing this up right away. This takes Dwarven Metal Ingots to improve. Dwarven Metal Ingots can be smelted from any kind of Dwemer Metal. And there's a ton of Dwemer Metal in here. Any kind of Dwemer Metal that has a prefix, like Solid Dwemer, Dwemer Metal, that's good. Large Decorative Dwemer Threat, that's good. And I'm overloaded. Um, that should be good enough for now. So let's just drop, we just need to drop 10. But there's a whole bunch of Dwemer metal in here. Let's drop those boots. Uh, these here. Give me a minute, I'll figure this out. There we go. There's more Dwemer metal here. Here, Dwemer levers. See, that has no prefix, so that's no good. There's some more here, you could take that. Small Dwemer plate metal. There's another one here. That won't work. Won't work actually. That's enough. And you can go out. Go back to Mark Hearth. Use the smelter there. Smelt these Dwemer metal pieces into Dwemer metal ingots. If you kill Nimi, the giant spider. Oh, there's Fandel. Okay, he made it up. Good boy. Yeah, if you kill the giant spider, there's a lot more Dwemer metal pieces here, which are currently marked as steel, but if you kill the giant spider Nimi and report back to Kelselmo, all those Dwemer metal what pieces will not be marked as steel anymore. You can just take them without any consequences. So there's some more Dwemer metal. Let's just go back to Markarth. And fast travel back to the center of town. <laughs> Hang a left here. Jump on down to the smelter. Smelt us up some dwarven metal ingots. I don't want any of you workers even thinking about stealing any silver. If I see you sneaking off with even one speck of silver, there you go. I'll break. Ten dwarven Let metal ingots, that's plenty for our purposes. Yes, much. Up to the forge. Tassos. Hit up the workbench, and we can improve uh, all our gear right away to find. There you go. Just like that, right away. So now we have an armor rating of 119 or 90 without the shield. Okay, a whopping 119 armor rating at level one. All right, so that's how I get a complete set of dwarven metal or dwarven armor at level one and get an armor rating of 119 right away right off the bat right that's it i'd like to thank you all very much for watching and if you thought this video was remotely entertaining and or informative please subscribe to my channel i'm going to be doing a lot more skyrim videos starting off with a big batch of how-to videos and then moving on to a walkthrough later on all right thanks for watching see you next video